Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have a project pan update and this is one of the most exciting updates that I've done in a while. So I'm so happy to share my progress with you guys. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, if you're watching this video and you're asking yourself what in the world is a project pan, I did just film an introduction to project pans video. So I will leave it linked in the description box down below as well as my entire playlist if you wanna catch up on this project or any of the others that I have done. But let me start off with the most exciting progress, the most exciting item, because I should save that for last, but I just can't because I'm too happy to share it with you guys. I finished my Catrice powder. I thought I would be very close to finishing it on this update, but I wasn't 100% sure whether or not I would be sharing an empty pan with you guys, and I'm so over the moon that this is finished. I had a pretty decent amount of progress on this when I started the project, but it's definitely come along pretty quickly throughout 2019, mostly because this has been one of the only powders that I've been focusing on. I was also reaching into other powders for a while there, but probably for the last month, I was exclusively using this one. And I think what really did it for me was that I ended up repressing this because I just had the tiniest little bit around the edge and it was so challenging for me to get my brush in there. So I decided to repress the product and now, or after I did that, I feel like it made a huge difference. Okay, speaking of repressing, this next one I need to repress and I was debating doing it before this update, but I wanted to share with you guys the progress before I repress it so you can see that, but I will repress this before next month's update, so it'll probably be in a different format then. But this is my butter bronzer, and as you can see, there's such a thin amount of product around this side of the pan, and there's a little bit more over here, and that's where I've really been focusing my brush, but it's kind of getting to the point where it's hard for me to fit a bronzer brush in here and evenly coat the brush, so I'm going to repress it and I think after doing that, I will say there's still a pretty thick amount al along this side of the pan. So I don't know if this is something that will be done before my next update, but I do think probably within maybe two months I can have this finished, which makes me so happy. I thought this would take most of 2019 to finish and you know, who knows, it might. Maybe I'm just being a little too optimistic, but I feel like the end is near. Oh, and you might be asking yourself, okay, is she gonna put a new product in now that she finished that one? Yes, I am, I meant to mention that, but I will share that item at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But the next update is on this setting. No, this is a primer. <laughs> this is my Becca First Light, not Backlight, my First Light Priming Filter. And the progress is so significant. I feel like when you compare the other month's progress to what I did throughout March, I definitely did the most during March, which is surprising to me because I feel like I spent a lot of the month focusing also on those two new primers from First Aid Beauty because I was trying them out a lot so I could review them and I just enjoy them, so I've been using them a lot. So I kind of expected to come into this and not have a ton of progress on this. So it was quite a relief when I saw that I actually did a lot this month. So will this be done on my next update? It's possible, but I do think realistically it could take two more months, but either way, we're moving along. Okay, a bit of a disappointment is my hair product in the project. So this is my Briogeo Blow Dry Heat Protectant Cream. Now I use this, like I've said, every month. I just use this as a leave-in conditioner, but I was trying to use it every day, but I must not have been doing as great of a job with it in March because when I went to look at this progress, I was like, wait a minute. I was holding it up to the light and I was like, are my eyes deceiving me? I swear I've done more on this than I have, but According to my calculations, I'm only here. So could I finish the rest in a month? Probably. Will I? We'll see. All right, let's talk about this all-nighter foundation. You know I've had a weird relationship with it. I have gone back and forth. Am I going to keep it in? Am I going to take it out? And I've just been telling myself, you know, I'm going to keep it in for now. Eventually it might be rotated out, but we're going to keep working on it. And I'm still kind of in that same place, but my progress this month is very minimal. Uh, actually the least amount of progress that I've made over the course of a month throughout this whole project. So it's very minimal, but I do feel like I've still been doing a decent job using this. It's not my only focus like some of these other items are. I pretty religiously rotate my foundations around, so that could be part of the reason. But 
A couple days ago, I started thinking to myself, okay, you know what? It's time. We're going to rotate this out. I don't want to focus on this anymore. Mostly because I was just feeling discouraged by the lack of progress. But then when I looked at it, it hit me that I've made a lot more progress on this than I think. Because month to month, yeah, we're looking at little millimeters. But then I saw this. I'm like, you know what? I started down here in January and I've used this much of it up. And that's pretty significant. I don't think I would have gotten anywhere near that far if I wasn't working on this in a project. This project has also taught me that I love to mix this with um, like a primer or a moisturizer or an oil. And the other day I mixed it with that new First Day Beauty primer I was just talking about, the Hyaluronic Primer. It looked so smooth on the skin. It was just a really nice soft tinted moisturizer. So. I've learned different ways to use this that I like it more. Like I feel like my relationship with this is changing and I'm starting to appreciate it for other things other than just being a full coverage foundation. So for that, I'm so happy that I have it in my project. Again, it's a month to month thing. So maybe next month I'll decide to take it out, but I do want to focus on this at least through April. And sticking with the theme of products that I'm so happy I have in my project because I'm learning why I love them and how I love them. That's where the next two products fall, and the first one is my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. So I've loved this facial spray for a long time. That's, that's not a surprise for me, but I'm so thrilled that I threw it in the project now because I just put it in last month after I finished something, and it has been such a pleasure to spritz this on my face after doing my skincare or before applying my, my foundation or after I do my makeup, and... I've always known how much I love this product, but I'm happy that I have it in my project because it's such a joy for me to apply now. And I know that I probably wouldn't, would not have thought to reach into my drawer and grab this if I wasn't actively focusing on panning it. Oh, so I guess I'll show you want to see the progress, right? We started up here and now I'm here. So honestly, one to two more months, I think. I feel like one to two months from now, I'm going to have a completely new project pan, basically, because all of these products will be done and they'll be recycled, not recycled, but um, replaced with something else. So I'm interested to see. I feel like my project pan is going to look very different come summertime. But an item that will probably still be in the project is this blush. Have not hit pan yet. Don't get too excited. This is my I Will Always Love You blush from Too Faced. But again, this is a product that I'm falling back in love with because I have it in my project and I'm so excited to reach for this in the morning. There are so many makeup looks that I do and I just think, ooh, that's gonna pair so well with this. Especially today, I'm going very orange. Look at my fingernails, look at my lips, look at my eyes. I was like, perfect blush to do it with. And I even used this blush today as my first transition shade to kind of get my crease ready for some orange. So I think that the progress is coming along on this. I can see like a little teeny tiny baby dip starting to happen. I don't think the pan is in my near future, but I definitely feel like it's going to happen. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, what am I going to replace my powder with? Now, this was a little challenging for me because I already have a list of all the things that will be joining my project pan next. So I have all these items planned out that once something is gone, I'm gonna rotate this new item in. So I was on the fence of which of these items from my list I was going to put in and I kept saying, you know, do I replace a powder with a powder or do I do something else? And I decided for this one, I'm going to do a powder with a powder because I really, really wanna finish this off. So this is from Pixie. It's their Quick Fix Powder in Translucent. Now, the main reason I wanna be done with this is because I don't have a lot and look how bulky this is. This takes up so much room in my drawer and I actually just did a makeup drawer organization video and you saw in that video just how much room this takes up in my drawer. It's unnecessarily bulky, so I just wanna use it up. And I'm roughly halfway done with it. My marking is about here, so I think because this is a loose powder, I don't anticipate it taking that long. Sometimes when I'm panning loose powders, I'll even use them as a dry shampoo. I don't know if I will with this one or not. We'll, we'll see what happens. But right now my plan is just to kind of use it as my setting powder. And we'll see where that goes. I think it'll be fun for me. I know that I do like this formula, but I hardly ever reach for it because it's so messy. And I actually took off this little spongy puff that was on the top because I couldn't get any product out. And then come to find later that can't get it now, it's stuck. But basically that top screws off and I did not need to do that. 
and I made a mess for no reason. But I feel like that item will be a great addition to my project. I feel very good about my progress so far. I feel like this was a really great month. Sometimes I come on camera and I'm like, oh, this was not my best month, but March I feel like I did pretty well with. So I'm excited to see what April brings. If you guys are enjoying this series, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.